Although they did lead the NFL in fumble-causing collisions, the defense that used to be known as the Doomsday Machine was somewhat more generous with points than it has been in recent seasons. Perhaps it was the absence of leaders like Bob Lilly and Cornell Green. But for whatever reason, the 1975 Dallas defense gave up more points than in any other season in the past eight. Last week, the New York Jets took a fast 14 to nothing lead, but then the carnivorous Cowboys gave Joe Namath the taste of the same treatment they had given Billy Kilmer the week before. Namath could complete only one pass all day for a net gain of minus three yards before the super quick Dallas pass rush stampeded him right out of the game. For Namath, it was a fitting end to an abysmal season. For the Cowboys, it was a last shot at a stationary target before this week's encounter with a somewhat more mobile quarterback. But during the season, as we said earlier, the Cowboys did prove to be the league's best at knocking the ball loose from any kind of target, stationary, mobile, or airborne. The Cowboys focal point this week will of course be Fran Tarkenton, who is not only a record setter, but is also the NFL's most consistent quarterback. His much publicized mobility not only makes him a more elusive target for the defense to get at, but it also allows time for an elusive receiver like Chuck Foreman to find the perfect spot to await another Tarkenton touchdown. Ball control advocate Fran Tarkenton is also perfectly capable of hitting John Gilliam for a long one. And the Cowboys have been vulnerable to the long pass, ranking 20th in the NFL in touchdowns allowed through the air. But what Minnesota coach Bud Grant likes best is to see his team take an early lead, preferably on the game's first or second drive, and then let his defense control the rest of the game. The foundation of the Minnesota defense is still Allen Page, number 88, probably the quickest defensive tackle in the league. The other defensive tackle is Doug Sutherland, number 69, who relies mainly on brute strength. Two defensive ends have 28 years of pro experience between them. Carl Eller, number 81, at age 33, is the youngster of the pair, but he still can withstand a double team block and not only keep his feet under him, but hurry the quarterback into an awkward pass and then pursue the play downfield to make the tackle on the receiver. Thirty-seven-year-old Jim Marshall, number 70, has started more consecutive games than any other regular player in history. And this season has been one of his very best, as NFL offenses will readily attest. But now, for the first time all season, the wise old Minnesota defense will be facing a playoff-caliber offense. The one coach Tom Landry turned from a pop gun into a shotgun. Without high-quality running backs like Calvin Hill and Walt Garrison, number 12 tailback trigger man Roger Staubach threw caution to the winds. And no man in the league this year did more to carry his team to the playoffs than dodging Roger Staubach. Staubach scrambled, rambled, and gambled the Cowboys to 10 victories, a total beyond the fondest dreams of anyone in Dallas, including Tom Landry. At times, the Cowboy offense looked like the old Naval Academy offense of Coach Wayne Harden. But whatever you want to call it, collegiate, high schoolish, sandlot, or whatever, it worked. And it worked partly because of surprisingly good receivers like Gene Fugit and Billy Joe Dupree. And, of course, the established long ball threat of Staubach's favorite receiver, Drew Pearson, number 88.
On the other flank, Staubach had the swiftest of the Cowboys and one of the league's developing stars, Golden Richards, number 83. In preseason, the Dallas Cowboys were given up for dead. It was conceded to be a so-called rebuilding year with 12 rookies making the final cut. Now it's the bold young Cowboys in the playoffs against the old bold Vikings. And as Dallas general manager Tex Schramm puts it, in the playoffs, it doesn't matter who you are, anybody can win three games. And that's all it takes to win it all. <laughs>